Well, so there are concerns that no evidence has yet been presented for Obama or Clinton's claims. And not everyone's buying the allegations from sections of the U.S. establishment. For example, a number of retired U.S. intelligence officials have signed an open letter claiming the DNC emails were in fact leaked by an insider. They say it could have been anyone from the government or even from within the Democratic Party itself. We spoke with former CIA intelligence officer Larry Johnson, who signed the letter himself. Here's why he thinks it was a leak and not a hack. If it was a hack, there would be evidence. The NSA would actually be able to know who did it, be able to trace it from point to point. They have not been able to do that. That evidence does not exist. It has not been briefed, to our knowledge, to any member of Congress or to any member of the administration. Point number one. Point number two. Julian Assange has testified, albeit not under oath, but he has insisted that he has not received this from any agent of the Russian government or the Russian government itself. Number three, uh, Ambassador Craig Murray has identified that he knows he one of the individuals involved that did provide the material and that it was a leak, not a hack.